Hello, 45 of the Charlie Papa channel. Today I'm bringing you something a little different, uh, something you don't see a whole lot of reviews on, uh, something you don't you know, find a whole lot of information on. And this is the, the Remington 514. It's part of the Remington 500 series of 22 rifles. Uh, the 514 is a single shot. Um, it was designed uh, to be on the lower end of the line, of the 500 line, um, simply because they were trying to compete with Stevens. Um, your standard like 510s, 500s would range right around that $20 range back in about 1951. Uh, these would range right around $13.95. So just a cool little 22 planker. Um, they made millions of these. Uh, a lot of these got chopped up. Uh, from what I understand, the gaming industry uh, would weld the the bolts shut on them and use them in shooting. You know, shoot, shorten the barrels and use them in shooting galleries. Um, but you know, there were a lot of these made. A lot of kids uh, back in the 50s and 60s. You know, 12, 13, 14 year olds, 11 year olds would aspire, you know, after they got their BB gun, they'd aspire to get a nice little plinking 22. Something they can go out uh, to the fields. I mean, we weren't as popularly or densely populated as we are today. And there were still, you know, farms and fields and stuff out there. They can go out and plink, uh, shoot cans, um, shoot corn cobs, shoot, you know, whatever they could set up. Uh, maybe go out, find some field mice, shoot field mice. Uh, but the, a lot of these were sold, you know, between the, the brands, the, the Remingtons, the Winchesters, the Marlins, the, the Ithacas, um, the Stevens. They sold millions of these little rifles and they're out uh, there. Now, these are great little first time rifles. You see a lot of them. A lot of collectors will have them uh, simply because of their sentimental value. A lot of them have been passed on. Uh, from generation to generation. I've got a J.C. Higgins in my collection that I'm going to do a review on here soon um, that my grandfather bought in 1950, early 50s and it's been passed down from generation to generation and I have no plans of ever selling it. Uh, but these are out there. Um, you can find them. They, they do get sold periodically but like I said there's a lot of them in, in uh, collections that uh, just will never see the light of day for sale. This one uh, was purchased. Average price on, on something like this is going to be anywhere from about 80 bucks for something kind of a beat up shooter uh, all the way up to about $200 if you're looking at something almost like new in the box. Maybe it's got the box with it. Um, but, you know, they're, they're not very expensive. Like I said, they've got a lot more sentimental value than, than anything else. The 500 series, uh, Remington made the 500 series from 1948 to 1971. Um, this one, uh, according to the date on the barrel, is a 1964 version. Um, really, really great little firearms, great shooters. If you can get your hand on any of, of these old 50s and 60s, whether it be Remington, whether it be um, Winchester, uh, whether it be Stevens, whether they be uh, Marlins uh, or whatever, most of those are known to be very, very good shooters. Now, this was bought... As a project rifle by the old gunsmith. Uh, he picked this up for probably right around the $80 range, somewhere somewhere in there. Um, as a project uh, for when my boys came to the house, um, he, he, he had something for them to work on. You know, these are great, great uh, rifles to pick up if you're looking at trying to learn how to maybe do some bluing on it, uh, maybe doing some woodworking or refinishing on these, uh, maybe some checker work if you wanted to get into some checkering. These are a great rifle to start with. This has got a beautiful walnut stock on it, uh, something that was available back then that you wouldn't see. Now, uh, this one, we went ahead and completely took apart, uh, cleaned it up, uh, had to uh, you know, take a wire wheel, sand some of the rust off the trigger, uh, some of the bright work here um, ended up sanding it down. I know we cold blued it um, So it's got a really nice cold blue finish on it um, We also took the finish off here and as you can see the boys uh, Decided they wanted to make a, a little bit more of a pistol grip on, on this a little bit more prominent pistol grip uh, So we added the pistol grip to this and we added little little flutes here on, on the side up on the top here uh, just to give this rifle a very classic look. Um, now, when I got it, it was unfinished. Uh, we went ahead and, and smoothed it out. 
Um, and then uh, we used a boiled linseed oil finish on this. This is the first one that I tried a, a boiled linseed oil finish on and it's uh, held up really well. It really looks nice. I really like the, the feel uh, of the boiled linseed oil. If you've got the time to do that because I think that was like a three month project doing a foil linseed oil on this. You have to uh, you know, rub the, the oil in there, let it hang, and it's gotta dry for a good 10 days or so before you can put another coat on. And you know, you've got four or five coats that on this one, and you know, the more you put out, the more shiny it's, it's gonna become. But uh, really great rifles. If you're looking for something, you know, for, for a kid as a plinker, uh, really great rifle if you're looking for something uh, to just kind of play around with you know maybe modify a little bit if you find a nice pristine example of one you know keep it keep it that way but if you find an old beat up one because boy you know these were well loved in the day um, you know restore it or or do something like this you know do some modifications on it make it kind of neat you know bring the kids into it bring the the kids into the in the fire firearm world uh, when my uh, youngest decides he wants to go shoot i know we're going to go out and shoot this one um, i've also got that like i said i've got that uh, jc higgins uh, that's been passed on in the family he's going to shoot that one also um, that's got a scope on it so it'll be a little easier for him to shoot but the nice thing with these single actions too is you can buy a box of shells and have a great afternoon shooting it. Um, you're not just throwing lead down range. I mean, you really have to, to pay attention to what you're doing to shoot these well. And these are good shooters. Uh, if, uh, you know, if you get the signs all, sights all lined up and everything, they are more than capable. These are great little rifles. Just thought I'd bring this out, show it to you. Um, really nice or period rifle. And this is 45 Rebel Charlie Papa, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.